the big trends today in bathrooms is what they call a drying bench. Now, usually in larger bathrooms, they might be built out of teak or, you know, built out of tile. In our case, because of the way our door folds back, we didn't have that much space. I went shopping and I found this great little bench right here. This is what we're going to use as our drying bench. The only problem is this does not match the new bathroom decor. So that's an easy fix. Just undo the top that comes with your bench, usually just a couple of screws that are holding it in place. You could do this too if you had an old piano bench, maybe put a nice coat of paint on it and then use that to reupholster. Then you want to buy some fabric. Now this is when it can be a lot of fun. Our bathroom is really all kind of white with a little bit of tones of aqua or gray. So when you go look shopping for material, be sure you take a paint chip with you so you get the right tone. If you look at all the pieces that I have out here, you see how much variation there is between the grays and the taupey browns and the aquas and more gray. So you can really make a mistake if you're not prepared with all of your tile and your paint samples. Now, also to pay attention to the pattern that you're selecting. This is a really great looking piece of fabric, but it has a large design. A large design on a small seat, you're really not going to get the advantage of it. So you're better off to go with something that has a little smaller pattern like either one of these. For our color purposes today, I like the gray and white the best. So that's the one we're going to use. All right, so I'm going to put these over here out of my way. Now, the first thing you want to do is get out your iron. Because a lot of times, have you ever seen anybody who made the big mistake of using their fabric without pressing out the wrinkles first? Well, if you do that, you're going to be stuck with those wrinkles forever because you can't get them out after the fact. So press your fabric, get it nice and flat. Another tip is cover up your work area with an old towel so you don't get any dirt on your new fabric because that could be very disappointing. Your tools are pretty simple. You're going to need a pair of scissors to trim your fabric about, you want it to be, oh, I would say a good inch longer when it folds over the side. So add about three inches all the way around and trim your fabric to the right size. Then you're going to need a hammer and a pair of pliers and a staple gun with staples. Now, why do I need the hammer and why do I need the pliers? Well, Unfortunately, this little seat is made out of a compressed lumber material, so it's very, very dense. Staples are not going to go into this all the way like we'd like for them to do and be nice and flat like the commercial staples are. These are going to pop up high. That's why I'm going to need the hammer. All right, so start by positioning your fabric just like you got it. Pull over your side and then try to keep this as level as you can and come back about that far from the edge and then just pull the trigger. See how that pops up right there? And believe me, I practiced a lot of these before you joined me and they all did that. So now, hammer it down flat. Move over to the next section. Do the same thing again and go all the way around it, just continuing to pull up one side and staple it in place. Tricky area, that's the corners. Don't try folding it here first come to the middle over in this section. Oh, look, we got lucky. It went in further than the other ones did. Probably because I'm going in the right grain with this wood on these. Okay, now for the corners. You want to pull this nice and tight. See how I'm just kind of folding it? If you've ever done any gift wrapping, that's kind of what we're after here. We want to get all the wrinkles. We don't want any of those in it. Okay, see how we've got that nice and tight? Now keep in mind your pattern. You don't want to pull your fabric so tight that your pattern all of a sudden starts working kind of lopsided on you. Especially true if you decide to work with stripes. Those are really difficult to do because if you get them going a little bit off, it's going to show. All right, all you need to do is just continue all the way around here, putting in your poster or your tacks, folding up the corners. If you make a mistake with one of your tacks, Little need in those pliers, grab a hold of it and pry it right out. It's no problem at all. Once you've got it all tacked down, you'll have a great new seat. Put it back on your bench and you're in business with a custom drying bench for your bathroom. <music>